The world watched George Floyd's agonizing final moments. Okay. But his uncle remembers his first. I was there when he was born. Roger Floyd describes his nephew as a humble guy who never met a stranger. He was truly a gentle giant. And, uh, you know, it's just so heartbreaking that this has taken. He learned of his nephew's death from his brother. He said that he was murdered. That's the way he shared me. He was murdered by a police officer in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And my heart just dropped. I was without words. But protesters quickly found their voices, demanding justice and an end to racism. They're saying to me with these demonstrations that the Floyd family, we feel you. We are behind you. We are hopeful that there will be a change. He says violence and looting don't help that cause. My prayers for peace. I, I, I hope that we will continue to protest, but curtail those protests to peaceful protests. As for the officers involved in George Floyd's death. I have to pray for them. He also has a message. That was wrong on all levels. That was a total disregard for life. He wants legislation to ensure this can never happen again. And despite his family's devastating loss, Roger holds no hatred for law enforcement. Many of them are great officers. They put their li lives on the line every single day for the good of the people. Roger Floyd says the first step toward making change is inside each individual, and then change will come from there as a society. If you'd like to see more of the interview I did with Roger Floyd, you can head to our website, cbs17.com. We're live in Durham, where protesters continue to protest along North Duke Street. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.